Here it comes. There it is. What do y'all think it is? It's a big one. Can y'all guess what it might be? I can tell you, it's for that truck. Gosh dang it, my garage is such a mess. Gotta spend some more time on this thing. I don't have time to do anything with it today. I just wanna show you guys what it is that I just got in the mail. Can y'all guess? Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. That's a beautiful fuel rail. Black anodized. Set up for full size injectors. Should be a gigantic, oh yeah, 90 millimeter throttle body. Oh wow. I don't know how well you can see in the video. And it's still plastic wrapped, so it's hard to tell, but holy moly, the quality of these things. Look at the quality of these welds. Wow, 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 wow. They chamfered all of the injector bungs correctly. No sharp edges. Wow. If you're not familiar and you don't know what this is, this is an intake manifold made by the very well-known Plasma Man company. They make a lot of very high performance parts for different vehicles. They're very well known for their intake manifolds. They're tested to, I think, what is it, 200 PSI burst strength or something along those lines. They're all TIG welded, machined. Let me take this out and show you the inside of it. All of the um, CNC cut flanges, perfectly straight and smooth. If you notice, there's a groove around each individual port. They're set up to use O-rings instead of the OEM gasket. You can also use the OEM gasket, is what I was told by them. Wow. Wow, this thing is done so well. Look how smooth all of the transitions are. There's no weird lips. Wow. I am really impressed with the quality of this thing. I've seen a lot of intake manifolds in my time. A lot of custom work for a lot of different sports cars, of imports, domestics, but this thing takes the cake. There's all of the vacuum ports for various sensors, hoses. It's on the bottom of the intake manifold. You can get it on top or on bottom. I like that it's on the bottom so that you don't see any of the fittings. It keeps the top side looking nice and clean. Let's take a look at the inside. Wow. Look at the bell mouths on each of those. Essentially, they're velocity stacks going down into each port. And you can tell you start larger at the front of the plenum and it gets smaller towards the back. That keeps the airflow as even as possible between all six runners and six cylinders. You can tell you've got equal length runners on every single one as well. It's a short runner intake manifold. I'm pretty impressed. This is not going to go on the vehicle for quite some time because we've got a lot of work to do. But uh, if you haven't guessed by this time in the video, I think we're going to go turbo on this thing. And a standalone ECU. Um, Haltech 2500 to be specific. Alright, I'm going to box this thing up. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. So I've got a lot of work cut out for me. It is going to be quite an adventure. I've turboed a lot of different vehicles over the years, but man, the 1FZ is just my favorite motor. It is big and it's easy to make power. It uh, just requires quite a bit of work.